Okay. Very good. Very good. So, amazing people, amazing stories, amazing community. And yes, we started long ago, but as you can see, the tradition continues. And uh, to speak more about this continuation of tradition, I would like to invite on stage my boss, John Kitchman. Please, John, join us on stage and continues this beautiful story of heritage. <laughs> Welcome, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. And thank you, uh, Brent, Christy, and Holly. I have an 82-year-old rabbit at home, so I need one of those <laughs> devices, yeah? <laughs> Philippe, for Christmas, please, yeah? <laughs> We've talked a lot this morning about our 25th anniversary. I'd like to go a little further back, 29 years and have a discussion. And we call it a bit of a family affair, this. This is a wonderful story. Our, our partner is called CAD Dimensions, and I'd like to welcome onto stage the founder and CEO, Pete Delara, the president, Andy Delara, and the VP for Technical Services, Tom Delora. Please, give them a warm welcome. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Thanks, John. Thank you so much. And, and as I was learning about CAD Dimensions, boy, what a journey. It, what a journey. <laughs> and it started with you 29 <laughs> years ago. Can you uh, tell us how it all started? Sure, sure, absolutely. I'd be thrilled to. And, and uh, thank you for having us come up on stage. Um, you know what? I got involved with CAD, and as um, uh, one of the folks up here was talking about before, uh, I started in the early 80s in uh, computer-aided drafting, mm -hmm. so it was, it was 2D CAD. Um, anyways, it, it was a company called Bruning CAD back then. They're, they're no longer around, but anyways, as I worked for them for several years, and then towards the end of the 80s, um, kind of got the entrepreneurship spirit and uh, went into business. Uh, my wife and I founded CAD Dimensions in 1990. And we started out with a product called CAD Key way back then. I don't even know if it's around anymore, but anyways, we had some success. But as we moved through the years in 1995, in September of 95, we found a product called SolidWorks. Actually, mm -hmm. yeah, it was, it was just absolutely incredible. Uh, they called us up, we invited them in, um, we sat down, and I think before we were even halfway through the presentation, we signed the agreement. So Fabulous. from September of 95 till now, it has just been an incredible, just absolutely incredible journey. So, so we are just thrilled to still be part of it. We've been in business for 34 years now, and 29 of those years is with SolidWorks and Dassault. So that's incredible. If we go back to that start, you must have some quite incredible stories, some client stories. <laughs> There, there's, there's been a few, but I'll, I'll use one as an example. Um, in early 96, we got a phone call from um, uh, one of the companies in our area. Vice President of Engineering had called us and said he was all excited or wanted to learn more about SolidWorks. You know, could we come in and help him? We had been marketing to them in different ways, and so he called up and we said, sure, we'd, we'd love to. So after several demos, and back in the day, doing four, five, six demos was not out of the question. Uh, but anyways, after several demos and several, uh, many meetings, we got a call and they said, Derek, you know, we want you to come in. So we went in, myself and, and uh, my reps, we went in and, and they said, you know, we've decided to go with CAD Dimensions and SolidWorks. And they were using another more elaborate, more expensive system. I won't say elaborate, but I'll say expensive. <laughs> So, and we were, we were absolutely thrilled. And I expected the next shoe to say, you know what, we'll start out with one or two seats. But they gave us an order for 26. A celebration. A celebration. We walked out, you know, just flying high. Wonderful. And when we look at those stories and, and that huge deal that was done back then, you had to work harder to get those big deals, I guess. You did. Yeah? You did. It, it, was, it was a lot different. And, um, you know, I guess one of the biggest differences back then was demonstrating. Mm -hmm. when, when you did a demonstration, it was an event. 
right? So again, as I just said, you might go four, five, six times for a demonstration, but what you were doing is you were carrying in desktop computers, right? Because we wanted to show the power of SolidWorks, right? You, you, were, you were part of it, right? We carried in 30 pound monitors on our shoulders, you know? Uh, and, and we used to, we had a, um, a projection system that we used to carry around in, in what we called the body bag, right? It was a bag on wheels, it was massive. <laughs> Anyways, um, long story short, we started turning heads. First off, because we're so athletic and being able to move all this stuff. But then secondly, because they saw SolidWorks for the first time in, from a 3D modeler and a lot of our customers in the early days were coming from 2D CAD that we had previously sold them. So it, it was truly unique. They, they, we absolutely were, were hitting home runs uh, with every time that we, we went through. The capabilities were just absolutely incredible. So, guys, Dad started the story here. <laughs> but, Tom, what do you remember about those days? Uh, so, so for me, I, I would have been three at the time. So uh, I, I do remember going into the office. Three. Three, three. Okay. Yeah, he, he started a business with a three-year-old. <laughs> um, so yes, I, I, I do remember going into the office. We, we would clean, we would cut the grass. Uh, but, but I made sure to always, always find the uh, ability to go into the training room and, and jump on the SolidWorks, make sure I could work on my extrudes, my lofts, and, and get my skills up. So you're the first kid at school with a computer. Uh, we, we certainly were, yeah. So uh, uh. Be, be, being able to... to come home and, and actually use a, use a floppy disk and understand uh, how to game on a computer. Yeah, that, that, was, uh, that, that was a claim to fame. How, how was the pay? <laughs> he did all right for us. It, 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 <laughs> it was minimum wage. So, Tom, you're three years old. You were cutting the grass, cleaning, oh. playing in solid works at that age. So it's been a huge part of your life, Pete. It has. SolidWorks has been a, a really huge part of my life. It's been a huge part of uh, not only my life, but my family. And, and I would look at probably the most significant part of it was building relationships. You know, we had a, a fantastic uh, relationship with SolidWorks and with the other resellers. It really was, you know, an extended family. Um, several years ago, um, you know, we had five of us, I believe it was, yeah, it was five of us, mid-sized resellers, but we would get together, we would take the time every couple years, get together, um, go to each other's offices, sit down and kind of analyze what was going on, right, with each of us in, independently. Share ideas, share thoughts. We really became um, our own advisory board, if you will, which was, which was really neat. And those relationships still exist today. We're, we're not seeing each other as much anymore, but they're still moving forward. So you, com you collaborated yet competed as well? We did. Yeah? We did. Nice. Yep, it, it was good. Nice. Now, of course, we didn't really compete with each other because we're in different parts of the country. So rumor has it, you made a decision pretty recently to pass the baton to this man to your right. I did. Andy? I did. And, and you know, part of that was because of time, but it's also, you know, with the, with the um, our succession plan probably started about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, and we knew this was a transition, right? So we were talking about transforming earlier. So CAD Dimensions is also going through a transformation. In the shift in technology with the SAS modeling with 3DX, um, maybe the old traditional stuff has got to take on new shape. And so we do too. So I am, have, we've decided in the past year that Andy has the drive and the, and the courage and the wherewithal and also a little bit of that entrepreneurship spirit to take on the reins. So he and Tom are now running the company. Congratulations, guys. Thank Congratulations. Thank you. Now, Andy, um, when I looked at the data for last year, performance, I heard that the new logos, 70% 70, 70 was 3D experience. Dark, dark, darn close, so. Full transparency, it was 68%. Okay. <laughs> we can round up. We can round up. So, yes, yeah, we, we knew that uh, in order for us to not get left behind, we really had to, to fully embrace the 3D experience platform as a business. Um, we were fortunate enough to have one of, uh, what I'll say, the, the best technical resources in the industry, and in, in Kevin Holbrook on our team, uh, come to us and say, hey, guys, let, let me take this on. 
So, which was a risk at the time because uh, the platform was somewhat new and a little bit unstable and uh, there's some uncertainty there. But the, uh, the risk has been absolutely worth it. Uh, we now have a team dedicated solely to, uh, to 3D experience sales and, and customer success. And uh, the, our team's just been doing an awesome job getting our customers to be successful with it. Um, obviously, still have a lot of desktop customers that we'll continue to support and look for ways to add value to them. But when a new customer, for the first time, we're selling them that first license of CAD, it's going to be 3D experience because that's the future. So we've been talking the last few days about storytelling as well. Any, any in this new domain? And by the way, congratulations because Philippe Laufer talked about the stepping up to the growth ambition around 3D experience platform. Uh, GP the same, Bernard the same. So. Thank you for making that step, an important step. But of course. So any client stories top of mind? You want to take uh, this? Yeah, I can jump yeah. in here, John. So uh, as Andy mentioned, we, we built the team around, around the platform. And that team came to us and said, all right, our target, target audience is going to be these new logos. And it's going to be our smaller customers that are PDM naked. And, and that, that target audience worked really well for, for about 18 months until we had a longtime customer, somebody that we had grown over 60 seats with PDM came to us and said, we're looking to do a SOLIDWORKS upgrade. When we factor in the infrastructure, the time, the software, and the hardware, that upgrade is going to cost us about a million dollars, and, and we're open Whoa. to other options. So, so the team uh, stepped out of the sweet spot that, that they had decided on and said, all right, let's pitch them the 3D experience platform. And, and the value prop of being able to continue using SOLIDWORKS plus not having to invest in the infrastructure was enough for them to say, Let, let's go ahead. And, and they ordered 102 seats. Whoa. Uh, as their first order. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Biggest challenge, Tom, there? Was uh, the challenge? It, it was a good challenge. Uh, so uh, over the past year, uh, being able to, uh, to work with SolidWorks to, to overcome some obstacles with, with data migration, getting all that PDM data over to the cloud, uh, being able to train users, uh, but, but ultimately making sure that our customer was successful and, and delivering an experience that they could be access, successful in uh, has been that biggest hurdle. Um, but I'm very happy to say that that last month we, we did see a renewal for the original 102 seats, Whoa. plus an additional 10 seats for uh, shop floor programmer and product communicator. Ah. So, so yes. That, the, 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 the circle of life. The circle, <laughs> about. The circle of life. Yes. And how, how's the client feeling? Uh, cl clients very happy with, with what we've been, to been able to deliver. So, so ultimately, that, that customer has chosen CAD Dimensions as their partner, but the 3D Experience platform as their solution. Fabulous. So this is all great news, yeah? And we've talked about the, the last 29 years, yeah? What about the next 29, yeah? I know you're kind of handing the baton, but the relationship with Dassault System, the what, where you want to go as a business? Yeah, I, we're, we're all in with 3D Experience Platform, so that, that's where the business is going. Um, you know, I, I think we need to embrace it as a, as a community. Uh, so much of our businesses rely on cloud services, so much of our customers' businesses rely on cloud products, so we have to be ready to engage in that discussion with them. Uh, in, the, in the story Tom shared, that customer had a cloud initiative. Had, had we not been ready to have that conversation with them, they would have gone elsewhere. So our, our team was ready. They were, we had a, a sales plan for it. We had an implementation plan. We had a customer success plan. And, and ultimately, we were there to make them successful. Great. And, and what, what I heard there, cloud first, yeah? Absolutely cloud first. Great. It's great. So congratulations on, on, on the big deal. And Pete, if you could share one last thing with us today, what would it be? John, I, I guess after looking you know, back over the years, and, and um, I, I think one big thing that I would say is um, you know, being able to, to look at culture to some degree. So we've had people retire from our company. We have people that are 20 and even 30 years with us, so which, is, which is a great accomplishment. But I would say that one of the SolidWorks worlds many years ago Andy and I were together and we uh, participated in a session on leadership and culture that Ann Rhodes had given the talk, right? So, so very good. Um, anyways, we walked out and I said to Andy, I said, you know what? I'm glad we don't have to worry about our culture because I know our culture. And he kind of pushed back and he said, Dad, I'm not sure all your employees know your culture. 
So I got a little bit defensive and I said, okay, then fix it. You define our culture. So. Yes, so I, I was in a unique position for, to take on that challenge, right? I, I know his culture, it's ingrained in me and, and the work ethic and the drive and the motivation that make him phenomenal in his, in his uh, work life is what makes him a phenomenal dad in his personal life. So that part we had. Um, it was the feedback from, from our employees though that was really the missing piece. So we asked our employees, what is it that makes CAD Dimensions great? And uh, the feedback we got was that you know, we're customer focused, that we have a positive attitude, that we're dedicated, that we're loyal, uh, we act with integrity, uh, we've built a family-like atmosphere for our employees and our, our customers, and that we put our, cust or we put our employees first. Right? Our employees are the, the foundation of the business. So we compiled all this together and out of that CAD Life was born, okay. and uh, CAD Life is what we've been using to define our culture ever since. Oh, that's lovely. And I, and I can honestly say that as of today, all of our employees know and understand and live our culture. So it's, it's really helped us over, over the years. So guys, are you working on the next generation as well? You know, you, you, there's a bit of a legacy going on here, but what I've, about... Uh... I've been in the role for a year. Let, let's pump the brakes a little bit. <laughs> uh, I, I do have a 12-year-old daughter who is uh, using solid modeling and 3D printing in, in middle school. And okay. we, we've had conversations about chamfers and fillets and stuff I didn't know existed until I was in my 20s. So she's way ahead of me on that front. And uh, my, my little guy is obsessed with Legos and building and can absolutely see him coming down the engineering path plan. So you're planting seeds. We're, we're, yeah. we're planting the seed. Planting you're right. Seeds. You're what right. about you, you're Tom? Right. Uh, so, so my family, I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. <laughs> uh, and I just got the three-year-old to pronounce CAD dimension. So I, I'm, still, I'm still a bit early to tell. <laughs> well, you know, it's never too early. Never too early. Do you well, remember the, the, the cut in the grass? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. The work. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, guys, it's been lovely. You've been with us. I mean, seriously, as I got to understand what CAD Dimensions do, it really is. You put the client at the heart of everything you do, which is wonderful. Last message for the audience, Pete, gents. Take it. Th thank you guys, right? We, we are so so uh, honored to be able to share this, uh, share this stage as our family, but also yeah. with this family, right? We, there's so many people in this room that, uh, that we look up to and admire and respect, and it's just, a, uh, it's just an absolute privilege. So uh, thanks uh, for having us here. Thank you. I, I would say also that this organization has the most incredible channel representation, the best resellers anywhere out of any company. So thanks for letting us be part of that. Ladies and gentlemen, the leadership of CAD Dimensions. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the morning has finished. Please, time to get a little bit of uh, energy back, a bit of food. And, but this afternoon, you know, there's 40 different breakout sessions. There's different plenary sessions. Please maximize it. There's huge learning. Hu please embrace it. And thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Bye-bye.